Today we're going to be showing an install of the 550 heavy lift conversion available at aerialmediapros.com. This is a heavy lift version kit that allows you to run larger motors and up to 12 inch props, giving you the lifting capabilities to carry a nice camera, landing gear, and decent DSLR camera like a Canon T2i. This is the full kit laid out here. Comes with the Avroto motors, which are 770 kV. Comes with your six mounting brackets, your mounting hardware, and the 3.5 millimeter bullet connectors that'll plug into the wires and go straight into the DJI ESCs. First thing we're going to do is mount the brackets to the arms of the DJI F550. Use the included hardware. So right now what I'm going to do is grab the frame, take the old motors off, and install the new mounting brackets. All right, so we went ahead and installed the arm extending motor adapters. What we want to do now is mount up at least one motor and run the wire through so you can get a good idea of what length you want to trim the motor wires and prepare those to install the bullet connectors. So right here you can see we got a little bit of space there. You want to leave some room in there to give it some play area, but at the same time you don't want to make it too tight or have wire just bunched up all over the place. I found that trimming the wire at 101 millimeters really makes a great fit. So what I'm going to do now is prep the motor wires, cut all those and get them trimmed to length. Okay, we've got those all trimmed up to length. I'm going to go around, do that to all six motors, and then the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and mount the prop adapter. So the first thing I'm going to do, you'll need a two millimeter hex driver. Definitely use thread lock on these. Blue thread lock. Get enough on the screw to cover the threads, but at the same time you don't want this stuff blobbing up on there. Go ahead, mount the prop adapter, get the holes lined up. Add the three screws. Don't. Work your way around, get them nice and tight, and you have it ready to go. We'll do that to all six motors and move on to prepping for the bullet connectors. Okay, so we've got the motor wires all trimmed. We trimmed a little bit back, gives us enough to go into the 3.5 millimeter bullet connectors. When you get these ready, Always use flux when you're soldering and tinning these tips and use flux once you put them into the bullet connectors. This is going to help the solder really flow through the complete wire and give you a much better, more reliable connection. I'm going to go ahead and solder up all the ends and then we will come back and get ready to apply the heat shrink. What I've done is I've put 4 millimeter heat shrink tubing. I cut it to about 10 millimeters in length. We put that over the wires and get ready to cover the tips of the bullet connectors. Once we get these done, we got all six of these soldered up. Bullet connectors are in place, heat shrinks in place. We are ready to go ahead and mount these to the conversion kit. We have mounted up all the motors. I went ahead and plugged in the bullet connectors to the ESCs and I also went ahead and I wired up your LED module to a power port here. I'm going to set it out on this arm. That way we can see it from the rear. It'll give us the blinking signals, let us know what flight mode we're in, and also your battery indicator will give you a low voltage warning. So we have everything ready to go now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some LED uh, power right here so I can run some LEDs on the right, left, and rear arms. I'm also going to add a 12 volt converter so I can run some FPV downlink gear for the camera system. So I'm going to go and wire all that up right now. Then we'll go ahead and install the NASA and get everything calibrated and ready to fly. Alright, so I just got done installing the LEDs. We put them on the outside of the arm. I use a five piece section that gives you enough length to get on both sides so you can see it pretty clearly. We use green on the right red on the left and blue in the rear. Helps me with the port starboard. 
We just run the LED wire straight from the LEDs. I cut this at 120 millimeters so it fits good and it doesn't have a lot of slack. And then we ran right into the power distribution board to give them power. So we went ahead and wired all of those up and plug it in, test them, and there we go. Everything's working clearly. Now what we're going to do is I'm setting this up to power a video transmitter. So I'm going to put a 12 volt converter on here and give that video source some power. Now what I've got is a voltage converter right here. We can run the 4 cell LiPo up into this. We'll draw power off of the power distribution board with the power in and then I'll wire up an output so we can plug in the video transmitter. So I'll go do that right now. And this is what the finished product looks like. So this end will plug into the video transmitter and then this end will plug into the power distribution board on one of the plus and minus spots. Alright, I went ahead and installed the 12 volt converter. We have an output here that will plug into the transmitter. We went straight into the power port there and then I brought the negative over to a different pad just to distribute the load a little bit. I've also set up an FPV camera. That's wired up. I went ahead and mounted the transmitter on the bottom. Nice wire loom. So we got the FPV cam. This will plug in and power everything right through here. And you'll notice when I plug it in, we'll get power from the voltage converter and that will power up the transmitter there. You see the green light? We got 12 volts coming through there. That's powering the transmitter and also powering the FPV cam. Now that we got everything powered up, FPV cam, the video transmitter, I'm just going to go ahead, take the top off, we're done with testing, and I'm going to install the flight control system. Check out the other videos underneath our page and you'll see a full complete build and the NASA installation. Just fast forward through that and you'll be able to see how to install and set up the NASA. I finished up the frame. All the FPV gear is mounted, video transmitter, downlink, everything's receiving power. The copter's been set up, all the motors have uh, been made sure they're going the correct direction. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and move on to the carbon fiber landing gear and the install of the AV-130. Alright, I went ahead and installed and assembled the DroidWorks standard carbon fiber landing gear set. Has the mounting positions for the AV-130 right there. And then we installed the aluminum brackets that we have available in our store to replace the polycarbonate ones. Now we're going to go ahead and mount this to the bottom of the 550 and go out for the first test flights and begin tuning it in. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get ready to install the props. One of the great combinations we like to use is the Grotner 11.5. It comes standard with the 8mm bore. And we got tired of the inconsistencies of the spacers that we were purchasing. So we went ahead and now we manufacture our own. We get these done to exact specs so that they'll fit really nice and snug in there. And fit securely on the 6mm shaft of the Avroto. So go ahead, place those in there. And you'll see they just pop right in. We cut them to the right length. They fit in nice and snug, so you don't have to worry about them popping out. And then they'll fit right onto the six millimeter shaft. So we'll go ahead and install those onto the motors right now. I went ahead and finished installing the AV-130 gimbal and landing gear to the frame. This has completed the conversion and really transformed this into a nice AP copter. Now we're gonna go out and start dialing in the gains to the 95030 radio and getting the copter dialed in. Thanks for looking. Check out the website. We have all of our contact info on there. 
If you need to order one of these up or you need assistance, feel free to contact. We'll be glad to help. Take care, everyone. Have an awesome day.